Yo, it's Alan Young here and in this video I'm going to show you how to build a e-commerce store and this is a beginner's guide and I'm going to be using the platform Commerce HQ. Just before I shot this video I promised myself I was going to be no hand movements in my videos and I've already gone back on that promise myself. I literally just can't help myself. So anyway, who's this video for? So it's for the person who just doesn't really know how to set up an e-commerce store yet, or is quite new to it all, then this video is gonna help them, you, uh, you know, be able to do that. So basically what I'm gonna do in this video is just go through the process of setting up a store, um, sort of for, like from beginning till end, showing you like how to uh, set the apps up, how to obviously link a domain name, set the payment processing up, and um, you know, just showing you which apps to use, set up the abandoned cart software, setting up your first upsell, um, and all that kind of stuff. So basically, if you don't know what Commerce HQ is, because that's the platform that I'm gonna be using, it's a just an all-round better platform than Shopify. So I use Commerce HQ. This uh, has only been really released to the market in the last few months, but I've been personally using it for over a year in the beta mode, or I never know how to say beta, it's beta mode, beta mode, whatever it is, I was using it for over a year now and you know I've got to uh, get to get get to grips with it and learn how to use it and I'm and I, I'm telling you it's the best platform, I love it and it's so easy to use. Shopify feels a bit more complicated um, and it's not as good value for money. With Commerce HQ all the apps are built in, there's no extra cost, there's no uh, card fees, any of that kind of stuff and it's very easy and intuitive to use and it's perfect for a beginner. So um yeah, so I'm just going to go through all this process in a minute, but before I go any further, if you like these kind of videos and you like this video, remember to click subscribe, and also, if you uh, if you go ahead and get Commerce HQ after this video and you decide it's for you, then in the, in the description there's a link, you can get a 14 day free trial, or you can get two free stores uh, using my special link as well, if you want to get that go ahead and do it, but you need to do it in the right way. So I'll put a link to the video to show you how to get two free stores um, with your plan with Commerce HQ. So I'll leave that to you, it's up to you. It's uh, no drama either way, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started and uh, you know show you how to do it. So firstly, like, I'm just gonna start doing the stuff that, oops, I'm just gonna start doing the things that are the basic stuff, like obviously setting, linking the domain name and, um, you know, and, uh, the payment process and, and things like that. So uh, I'm going to tell you just one more thing before we go. Um, you know, this is not going to be the most beautiful site in the world because I've made the logo myself using a free logo creator and uh, and I'm just going to pull a banner or an image related to the to the store for my homepage, homepage banner. But, you know, you're going to understand how to set this stuff up yourself. The store probably will look all right, but if... Mm. but you just know that it's going to be, uh, you know, your logo, your banner, and and it's going to be your site, and it'll look different and nicer. You know, this is just a quick, you know, uh, run through tutorial video. So. so um, with that said, let's get going. So the first thing you want to do is set up the um, do, do, do the domain so you want to go to the domains so it's going to link your domain so this is really easy to do so I haven't actually uh, linked anything yet because it's a new store this store is called beadkings um, dot com uh, and basically it's just going to be like a store selling bracelets and beads and stuff like that so I'm going to click connect an existing domain so you click that and then you put your name in so it's beadkings.com and then also I need to point my name server so you get these name servers this is really easy to do so I'm just on my records for this uh, store so this is the name servers for Bead King so I just click change go to custom and you enter the name server so what you need to do here is just go to here put ns1.commerceHQ in the first one then the second one you just do that and then you click save and that's it so uh, so that might take a few minutes to do then once you do that just click connect I said click connect uh, 
and there you go so you can activate the SLSSL as well so you can click that it might take um, might take a little while to that takes uh, you know it might take 20 minutes an hour however I'm not sure that takes just a little bit of time before that activates so that's it you're good to go now that this will be all good shortly so when I go back to that that will be ready shortly so that's the first thing get the domain link so once you've got your domain you link it it's really easy that that name server stuff uh, will just be where you uh, purchase your domain so wherever you purchase the domain you just click on the domain find uh, domain DLs and you'll see the name server section so that's the first thing. So next on my list, let me check my handy list. So I've put it here so I don't forget. Is next thing set up payment process. And so I'm going to go down to here, click there. So nice and easy payment processing. So you'd have two things here. You've got the PayPal and you've got um, Stripe. I use both on my other stores. So I'm not going to set up a Stripe account because for, I'm going to add my Stripe to this because you want to set an individual Stripe account for your store. I haven't set one up for this store obviously because it's only a demo store but it's really easy. You just click set up. Dead simple to do. Take you minutes. So I'm going to just click PayPal. I'm just going to put my email address in here which is my PayPal. Feel free to send me some money if you want to. No, I'm only joking. Right, so activate PayPal. There you go. So that's it. I'm ready to take payments now on my store. So you've got that. That's two things done now. You've got domain linked, got your PayPal set up. And the next thing I wanted to do, so I checked my little list, is uh, set up the shipping rates. I've got a little list so I don't forget anything. It's so easy to forget stuff when I'm doing this. So, um, so you go to shipping. So you got zones, so you obviously you could, you could set up a worldwide zones, you, or you could have a, just the USA and Canada, UK, because you might want to charge different rates for um, for uh, you know different countries. So I'm going to put zone uh, or zone name. So that's not visible to the customer. So I'm just going to put USA and Canada. See, that's already in from what I've done on my other stores. So shipping rate. Say so let's do four ninety five. And then uh, let's go to United States and Canada. So that's that. So that's the these are that covers all the states and all Canada states under the shipping rate of four ninety five. So if you want to change it, you can have it more or less. But you can see it's really easy to do. Um, and uh, you know you can have different rates for different countries so it might cost you more to send to australia or whatever or you can keep them all the same it's just up to you but the options there if you want um, when it comes to shipping service put what you want to put i always just put um tracked shipping simple if you're using tracking obviously uh, just put what's right for you you can add exceptions so you can for instance if you want to put make free shipping for over fifty dollars you can do that now so let's do it let's do free shipping over fifty dollars because i will put a banner up saying that on my site or seventy five dollars up to you so not going to do weight you're going to do it on type you're going to put order total so fifty to infinity so and the rate will be zero so once you've set up that now basically if anything or anyone spends over fifty dollars in your store um the rate's going to be free and that's only if you want to do it like that if you don't want to do it like that then that's up to you but it's just these are the options and uh you can see how to do that so um free shipping so you can put free shipping or whatever <clears throat> and that'll come up as free shipping as zero zero dollars so there you go um and that's it really so you click save and that is your uh shipping rate set up so now you can see how quick this is you've got your domain set up you've got your payment process and you've got your shipping prices so the next thing is i have to upload a logo to my site so first of all let's go to add it to the checkout page so don't laugh at my uh, really shoddy logo. I've literally just made this myself on a free logo um, software creator online. So, And also, when you're in this checkout section, so I was here, you've seen that. I went to checkout sex, uh, settings. Click the four-step checkout. It's the best one. Basically, it's an accordion style. So the first thing someone would do is put in their email address. Then it goes to shipping DL, shipping method, and payment method. But if they put their um, email in first... 
then you've captured their email straight off the bat. And that's what you want. You want to capture that email first thing you do so you can then um, follow up with an abandoned cart email series if they didn't buy from you the first time round. So I'm going to add a header logo. So Bead Kings, here we go. Look at that bad boy logo. Not too bad considering I made that myself. But um, there you go. So that's it. Nice and simple. And these are the form fields as well on your checkout page. So you require both last and first name or you can require last name, company name. These are just like little sections in the form if you want this. So if you if you wanted a company name, you can make that required or optional. Address line, telephone number optional. You can turn that on or off. Um, you know, just do this stuff. So really intuitive, nice and easy to do. Um, and then this is for the abandoned checkout time. So say it says how much time of inactivity is considered an abandoned uh, checkout. Just believe it as 10 minutes. You can leave all that stuff. PayPal visibility button. So you can have that on the cart page, top of the cart page. It's up to you. Um, and then also it says, please note that to use your own domain for the checkout, you must have SLL. So use your own domain. It's better. So normally, if, if you had it on the other one, they would click, um, you know, buy now, and then it would go to conversation.yourdomain.com just to process the payment. But this is, just click on use your own domain for checkout. <coughs> oh, we're still waiting for the SLL to be activated. So just use ConversateQ for the minute. But once your SLL is activated, then, uh, you know, you can do that. So... So that's that. So you've added uh, the uh, logo to the checkout page. Next thing to do is go to general settings. <coughs> Hopefully this is where it is because I haven't done this for a little while. The uh, adding logo to the main page. No, so it's not there. Let me try and remember where it is. It is in the CMS. That's correct. So I had a little bit of a moment then. So go to main styles click on that nope so oh sorry look at me trying to show you how to do it and i don't even know what i'm doing myself here we go right the uh, go to main style sorry then click edit that's it sorry obviously uh, i haven't been setting up like loads of stores recently uh, i'm just you know obviously creating for this video for you and i just forgot um, where it was so there you go logo so just click logo make sure you've got your logo there bead kings so you've got your logo added you can add a favicon image that's that little image in the tabs uh, it's up to you but um we'll leave it there so that's it click save And so that's your logo now added. So the next thing to do is then go and add a banner. So that is where is that? That's the home page slider. So there's two there. Let's just delete one and then let's add one. So basically, I've just took uh, an image off uh, Google and I don't recommend doing that it's just for demonstration purposes it's just some pictures and beads um, I'm just going to add it now it's probably uh, it's not the greatest banner I would actually get a custom made banner if you can if not just make sure you add a decent looking image but I'm just going to you know add this image now quickly so it's just a picture of beads um, I'm not actually sure if it's the right size so I need to let's just see what this looks like so save Oh, please correct errors. Oh, sorry. Slider image crop, smart crop. Then click save. So let's have a little look at this. So I've just opened the tab up a minute ago. I paused it and opened this tab up. So that's the logo. You can see it's starting to look good. See what this uh, banner looks like. That's not too bad, actually. I thought it'd be worse. Yeah. So, like, obviously, um, you need to. I need to change that. So, let me. Uh, oh, that's my other thought. So, I'm gonna go and show you stuff to do with that later. But go on here. You can put whatever you want. See, this is just all all like stuff that you know. It's down to you. I'll put uh, get fifty percent of big sale on. Sell big sale of fifty percent. Get fifty. Get fifty percent off. 
to get 50% off today. Shop now. Let's set up it in catalogs. So you got to play around with this stuff. Obviously, see what looks right for you and your store. But you you know how to do that. And so um, let's have a little look how that looks. So you got Bead Kings. So, oh yeah, I need to change the color. So, oops, I need to go back and change the color quickly. <coughs> so heading color, you got, let me just see what color I had it. So that's what would stand out. Probably white will probably be the best color in this situation. So just do white and white. You can try in any color, see what works. Let's just try white. But you get you get the point. You have to play around with this stuff and have a little look. But you know how to do it now. So you're on the homepage slider. You added the uh, the banner, the first banner. You can change the text that you want, and you can um, you know do what's needed to uh, to your site. So that's how it looks there. Like obviously, I still probably could be a bit better. Maybe try a different color. But you know, you get the point. You can change that, customize that, customize that. So um, you can do a lot. Let's uh, let's do the next thing. So the next thing to do is. So the next thing to do is add a collection. Um, sorry, before I had someone just turn up on my house, one of my friends, and uh, so I had to stop the video. And it's actually the next day, so I'm just going to carry on where I left off. So uh, the next thing to do is add a um, is add a collection. So let's go and do that. So first, you go to there where the products are, and you go to add a collection so let's have a collection so this is a, a, a bracelet store this uh, demonstration store so let's uh, I'm gonna add two collections just so you can do something um, so it's just two different ones to look at so you're gonna do um, men's men's I'm just gonna call it men's bracelets men's collection Obviously, you just choose your own collections. You understand your store better than I would, so just name your collection. So if it's uh, if you're selling women's jewelry, then it might be a collection might be called rings, bracelets, uh, watches, or whatever. So let's call that men's collection. So um, and then we go down here and publish. So that's that's literally just the collection created. So you've got men's. And let's add another collection. Say women's women's collection. And publish. So what I'm going to do is just for uh, let's let's go to Alex West. I'm going to get some images just to put in the collection to show you. So. Two seconds, I'm going to uh, pause the video just to go and find something. I'll be back in two secs. So I'm back and I've got a couple of images. I just pulled them off Google, so I wouldn't normally do that. It's just for demonstration purposes. I just wanted to get something quickly just to show you how to add the uh, the image which is displayed for the collection that you're doing. So let's click on the women's collection. And here we go. It's nice and easy. There's a little icon there. Drop image here to upload new image. So you just click this. Click the um, women's one, that one. So then there's a picture of a woman's wrist with a bracelet. So, you know, just whatever. You can use whatever images uh, suits your uh, collection. So I'm going to add a men's one. So you go back, do the same thing. Just click drop image here. Add it. So there's another one, a man, uh, man's wrist. Um, and if you want to ever delete them, just click on the icon with that and that delete it and you can uh, put a new one in. So that's the uh, collection. So let's see if that shows. So there you go. Two images. You've got women's collection, men's collection. That's how you add the collections. And that's how you add the image that displays under the collections area. Um, so next, you want to add a product. 
So let me show you how to do that. Just to make things simple, I'm just gonna use a, a product that I've uh, had on another site just to show you. Uh, so it's just gonna be a bit easier. So I'm just gonna pull a product off here and uh, you know, let's have a go. So let's, um, let's add a, let's add just this, I'm just trying to think what's a good one. Let's just add, I'm not gonna overcomplicate it. <coughs> Let's just add this. So I'm just going to add this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to save it. So one second, just waiting for it to load. Let's just use that image. So I'm going to save image. There you go. That. Just obviously you've got your own products or you know you're gonna have your own products and images so that's cool. Um and let's get this here. Obviously you just wanna use your own descriptions and and do all that stuff yourself so uh you know you know how to do that so I won't I won't go into any of that stuff. Um so go to add the product you just on the back end of the conversation queue, you just need to go to products add product really that simple just click on product go to add product and then you will be opened up here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a product with a single variant which is this one and i'm going to add a product which is a multi variant to show you how to do that as well so um let's do it so the type let's say it is a uh, skull skull bracelet very select collection men's collection product uh, skull um, d -d -d skull brace skull bracelet so it's just oh let me what do I call it on here skull and crowns skull and crown charming crown um, bracelet. So I'm just going to use this. I think I've just copied it a second ago, but I'll do it again. I'm going to copy and paste that into here. So there you go. You want to? I'm going to just. Well, no, I don't really matter. One second. I'm trying to see if um. No, it doesn't. I have to recenter it. So just recenter that. I might, how did I have it before? Just a little bit larger. So you can play with the font size here, or you can call it, you know, header, header two. You can do whatever. You've got to play around with this stuff and see what see what looks right. So I'm not going to call it just our exclusive charm bracelet. It's a handcrafted, handcrafted, so get rid of the Huxley stuff. Um, and that's it really. Like obviously, you are, that's it for description. So you obviously put your own description there. Put a price in. So... Let's just say it's uh, nineteen ninety five. You're selling it for, and put it on. Uh, if you're doing it uh, at a discount, then you just put the uh, the uh, the original price in the compare bit there. Shipping weight. I leave that to you. Like if uh, shipping weight is up to you, what you want to do. If you want to set a uh, certain shipping, or if you want to put shipping weights in for whatever reason, you can just put that in, and you might have custom uh, custom. Uh, Trying to think of the word custom shipping rates for certain products, which might weigh more. So that option's available. Putting the weight in, and then obviously in the uh, shipping prices area, you can make uh, rules up for the weights and how much to charge them. So skull, oh. tag I put on the skull. So here we go. Upload image. So all you got to do is click upload image, and just pull them to here. So you can move these around so you can have it which way you want. I'm going to have that one display first. And that's it really. So it's a single variant. You've got your type, just type of product it is. It could be watch, it could be this, it could be that. The collection is from, well actually I might just type, just leave it as bracelet. Put the product title, put your description in. You can play around with this. There's a lot of stuff you can do with this. You know, you can change headers, uh, fonts, colors. You can add uh, 
um, tables in there, breaks, uh, you know, like a horizontal lines, add images into there. You can do all that stuff. You can add video. You could go onto the hate source and add, uh, you know, a video if you've got the embed code. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff you can do with the description. Um, vendor, this is up to you. If you want to have a vendor, if you've got a vendor you've got from AliExpress, then you can put that uh, in there so you know. Um, fulfillment i just put manual but you can have automatic there's uh, a few different things you can do if you want a SKU number i never use that myself and that's it really so let's publish and wait for that to load for one second so that is that done next thing to do is uh check how that looks so let's go to men's collection it's just got one product in this now which is that so at the moment there's no app so at the moment it's just pretty plain so we're going to go through the apps in uh, later on in the video but that's the products added um got the description and stuff like that so that is um that's ready so it's a bit basic still because you need to add apps to make it look better so uh you know how to do that i'm going to add one more product for the ladies um so add a product I'm gonna go to here and find, let's have a little look. Oh no, I'm on, sorry, wrong site. Mm, bracelets. So let's find sort of a, like a woman's I don't know, I think mainly this is stuff on here is men's, but if I can't, I will, let's just, um, let's just add that, I'll pretend that's a woman's bracelet, I'm going to just copy that picture, save, oh actually, do you know what I was just thinking, I'm going to do a variation, like I said I was going to do a variation, so let's go to watches, wrist watches, um, right, Oh, this is actually a woman's one. I'm going to use this one here because this is this is a bit woman's. So basically, I'm adding... Oh, no, I don't want to do this. Sorry, I'm not going to do this either because I'm going to put the... Um, I want to use bracelets because it's in a bracelet collection. So excuse me, let me go back and add... I wonder if this has got a variation. I want some with a variation. Here we go. It's got to choose your colour. So this is this is it. Sorry, I was just uh, I forgot that I was doing a woman's uh, bracelet collection. I don't want to start chucking in uh, like um, watches and confusing anyone. So like here we go. I'm going to use this here. So multicolour is that's the first option. Save that and brown. So we've got two variations here, which is good. Perfect for what I wanted to show you. So I'm going to, uh, oh, you can add the multiple images, but you know how to do that now. I just want to add uh, variation. So we're going to do a multi-variant now. So this is one, if you've got a product, which is like just showing you then, it might be a multi-colored bracelet, and then it might be the same bracelet, just in black. Or you might have a watch in red, and, and it comes in black and blue or whatever, and you might want to do a variation of that. So you want to click multi-variant, type, bracelet um, women's collections so you can have loads of different types obviously you, got, you can have loads of different collections there to choose from um, so that's the uh, product title let's go and add the description in so I'm just going to center that head into Um, this wants to be, let's just put like that, so it's up to you, you can play around, like I said, play around that, get it how you want, but that's got a description, it's just for demonstration, so shipping, they're going to leave track, and just tag, um, I don't know, just put women's, the reason... The reason you want to put tags in, because later on when you want to add uh, cross sales and stuff like that, or the related items, you can choose it on which level. So you can either have it recently bought together or tags or whatever. And if you use, if you tag certain products with, um, or if you put certain tags with products in the related um, 
products on the bottom, it will it will determine that by the tags that you've used. So if you put in like a skull as a tag in all your skull stuff, then in the related section bit, it will put it will show all skull stuff. So that's why you want to choose your tags wisely and try and have a have a bit of a, a reason behind why you're tagging them for certain stuff. So here's the variant. So like I did on here. So you got, let's do the first one is multicolor. So multicolor. So, and also you can have size. So you might have, this might be option one color. You might be having a ring, say. So you might have uh, like a ring in black and blue. And then you can have another variant, which is size. And then you can put all your variants like, you know, size three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or whatever. But I'm gonna, um, keep this but I'm just going to change the title so you can change the title you can have choose your this or you know so I'm actually sorry I'm going to delete that because you only want uh, colour is the variant so I'm going to do brown and there's your two variants so you've got multicolor and brown if you click changes product look so when you change like on here you go brown it will change so that's the reason uh, why you want to change product look um, so let's put in, I'm just going to put 1995. And if you press this one, when you put that in, if you press that, that will do it for all of the ones below it. So if you've got loads of variations, say if you have a manual to do it, you can just do it like that. So 39.95, press that and that goes down and you've done them both. So you can choose the variant to show first. Just put it on whatever one you want. I'll put it on multicolor. And then here's the variant images. So, um, I think this is the uh, the multicolored one, yeah. And then you can add more, but you can add more images, um, obviously, to a um, to your variant. So you could have like three or four under that one, three or four under that one, and they just show, obviously, when you're done. So let's click publish. So I see you got a woman's one and a man's one now set in there. You got two ca uh, two collections, a product in each collection. All you need to do is obviously if you want more collections, you just add more collections. It's really that simple. If you want to add more products to a collection, then you just follow what I just did. So let's have a little look how that looks now. So there you go, women's collection, men's collection. Let's go on the women's now. So that is now shown in the women's collection as a product. So you've got a variant, multi-variant now. So you've got multicolor or brown. So it's up to you. And you got the description so at the moment like I said it's pretty basic and we're gonna go now and add some apps to improve the look of that so let's go to App Store and add the apps do, do, do. I have to cover my eyes a little bit because I have got the Sun in my eyes I don't want to keep moving and stopping the video so um, let's go to the main apps these are the main apps you can go through i'm not going to do every app now because it would just take me forever but you i'm going to there'll be other videos on youtube if you want to know about some other apps and stuff like that but let's add the ones what are important so we're going to add review app install now and then go uh, security badge install checkout timer install um, do, do, do promotional bar install timer widget install um, recent purchase notifications install so that's that little uh, one that pops up and shows you recent purchases on the bottom corner so let's go through and actually uh, do what needs to be done so let's start with the um, recent purchase notifications so when you set that up Click configure and then you want to click active, rotate all purchases from the last one hour. So I'll put like at least 72 hours. So you've got three days worth of stuff popping up. Delay, you can choose the time. So first one will pop up after you know a couple of seconds. Um, let me move a little bit. Um, so yeah, but you got that time interval, so you can have it like so. Wait a couple of seconds, and it show the next one, and so on. So it's all pretty straightforward. Just click save, and that is done. So move that, go back into the app store, or click on the app you want from here. So we've done recent purchase. Let's do quantities. Uh, the widget, 
Let me just get my drink. Get my drink, some little first thing. So currently left, click on the simulations. So basically you can have it randomize a quantity range. So 15 to 20, 21 to 30. That's if you just want it to show. So basically like that, that's the amount. So the quantity you can either have it, you know, showing between 15 to whatever, or you can have it as a custom, uh, custom. So I'm just going to put it like that. So 21 to 30 and reduction speed, normal amount of quantity and just leave it that. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Save and then go to active. This will show stock levels on oh, no, a simulations. That's it. This will show stock levels as your stock inventory. Let's have a little look, see if that is working now. So, oh yeah, so I need to uh, click on simulation, sorry. Click save. It changed a little bit since I was on that bit last. So let's go to that. Because I've been on the, I'm on the store, it might be different. Yeah, that's right, it's cool. So you've got the, the quantity timer left now, showing limited edition, the time, um, or the quantity even, what's left. So that one's done now. Next one is timer widget. So let's add this. So click active, auto reset um, every, say, 48 hours. You can choose it to whatever you want. But So that means if someone comes on your site now, then that timer is going to be counting down over the next 48 hours. So if they log back in or come back on the site in like 24 hours, it would have gone down 24 hours. Or if they'd cut and it'll say they'd gone come back in 46 hours, it would show them only two hours left. So you can choose that to auto reset whenever. Um, timer heading, so limited quantity. And click save. So let's see how that looks. So now we've got limited quantity. <coughs> One day, 24, three hours, and whatever minutes left. So that's counting down now. So it's starting to look a little bit better. Next thing is promotional bar. <coughs> so we've got the promotional bar. So click add my first promo bar. Um, here we go. So you can name it what you want. Uh, bum 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 bum. Sorry, fifteen percent account down. No, what are you doing? Free shipping. So that's just the name that you see. Doesn't really matter. Um, you can have it with a button or not. So you can have it where it says shop now. So it show like that. It's up to you. Um, limited time promotion. Free shipping. Free. Free. Shipping on orders over fifty dollars or whatever you can put whatever it is you, your offer is you could be uh, today's uh, fifty percent off all orders today or, or whatever so you can just put what you want so free shipping on all orders over fifty pound or today and there you go so you can change the text on there so you've shop now is pretty good you can. Add, uh, change the colors and stuff on that so we'll just leave that there for a minute um, I'm actually going to just have it as just text for the minute and then you can have the position at the top or the bottom of the page you can have it as a rolling scrolling one um, and choose the pages that you want it to display on so collections list home page um, product page it's up to you I, I, I would just leave it like that you can just you know, decide what page you want it on, but that option's there available for you. So now let's have a little look how that's showing on the let's see if that's gonna be working yet. Yeah, so you got free shipping on orders over fifty dollars today. So you've got that added now. So it starts to make the site look a bit better as you're going through it all now. So it's starting to come together a bit check out time and this is the timer that displays so someone uh, but, uh, clicks add to cart then it will show a timer saying your order is reserved for for whatever minute so i would actually just leave that just to click 
check out on cart click save so let's have a little look at that so click add to cart then there you go your order is reserved for 15 minutes so that's that so on mobile mode it definitely looks a little bit better so let's have a little look see there's there you go look how that looks that looks good so got that done so imagine that you go on the site that looks really clean trustworthy and you know all that just stuff really starts to make the site look a little bit better so um next thing is as my little notepad was saying there is to add the next um security badge so add my first security badge And you can just choose which one you want. So I, I like this one. This one I use a lot. But it doesn't really matter. Just whatever you feel is good. Um, and here we go. You can play with that. Um, so you can click this. You can play around the colour. So if I look at my site. Um, I'm gonna In a minute I'm going to edit the, the tabs along the top as well. Oh, I haven't set that up yet. I have to do that in a minute. Um, let's go to home. Let's have a little look. So, what would what color would suit this? We can try that color. Let's just see what red looks like. So, I, I always put on about three fifty. I think it's three fifty, or it might be three hundred. Let me just see. So, click submit. Oh no, badge name. That's cute. Security badge. That's any stuff that you can see. So let's have a little look how see how that improves the look of the site. So guarantee look at that. Beautiful. You can change the colour. So you might have a gold site, you could put a gold rim around it. I think I've done that with I did I took I got rid of the rim on this one, but you can do whatever you want. Let's have a little look how that look at that. It's really starting to come together now, isn't it? So you've got your, your, uh, your safe, secure badge. You've got your limited edition countdown, quantity to countdown. You've got your timer countdown, your description. So it's really starting, to, really starting to look good. The only next thing, which I would say is an important app to get get going or get using, is the um, review app. So let's add a couple of reviews. Let's use the review app. So say, for instance, you're drop shipping and you want to you can find obviously on the vendors uh, site or the vendors page if you're drop shipping that product you can use those reviews obviously so like they're legit there are other people's reviews on that product so you can add images and stuff like that so um i'm not going to add an image for this but let's go to here first and set it up so click on the little uh that little icon there um and then let's go. So publish stuff with people. So first thing is, when you you can set up the uh, the have set emails to go out when someone buys a product. So like two weeks after they bought it, and it asks them for a review. So you can still have that to. You need to approve it first. I would use that. Just you know, you don't want to put any damaging stuff on your site for whatever reason. Um, so verified by a badge. You can choose. Uh, I put check mark with text. Um, you can have it in tiles and rows. So tiles looks good. Um, rows looks good. They both look good. To be fair, I'm gonna just have it on tiles. Um, hide review widget. Products without reviews yet. Hide the review widget. Number of visible reviews. You can put put whatever you want. And this is the uh, so this is the actual um, email request. So add the logo there. Let's see if I've got it. Um, so just add the logo. 
I'll tell you what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove myself in a second from the actual display on the screen so you don't have to keep looking at me uh, squinting and stuff like that. So I'm going to just get rid of myself off the screen so you can only see the screen. So there you go. There's the um, the logo and uh, you've got the... Uh, you got the text there. You got the please leave a review. So if someone bought those two things, it would ask them to leave a review, uh, and you can have related products if you, if you want to do that as well. So you can choose subject lines, create your own. Um, you can choose the time. You can change the template, uh, which one you want to use, clean style, whatever. I use minimal. Um, send the email. Say on average, your customer gets an order in say five six days. You can get that email to send out in say seven or eight. So they. Uh, get prompted to do that then you can also ask the questions so how's the quality how's the fit how's the length or whatever it is you can also give a customer a discount reward so you give them 10% only issue a reward as well if they if they actually provide a picture so you can choose that or not if it's te text and you're happy with that you can still leave that unchecked um, or you can put do not give a reward and just send a thank you email I would put give a 10% discount because then they come back and buy again in, in your store or you can give them a, a percent, an actual amount off, so like a fiver or whatever. And then once they've done that, you can give them the, uh, you've got the email here, which is the uh, thank you with the actual discount code in it. So you can set that up as well. So this is um, this is the uh, related products in the email. So you can play around. It's all, it's all really easy to do. So click activate review app. And there you go, you've got the review app set up. So... I'm not sure if I can 100% add, um, add a review if I've only got two products on my site actually. So um, let's put reviewer's name, um, Maggie. Select product. So I'm going to click on that. Review date. Let's put yesterday. I love this product. This bracelet. I would obviously put the actual, uh, the real review, which was on AliExpress or, or whatever it is that you've got. Obviously, I won't just make them up. So, uh, I love this bracelet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So, you can um, leave that. And if you want to add an image, you can click here and drop file. And it looks really cool when you've got um, a picture of someone wearing it. So, I'll give you an example. Let's go to... Um, let's click on that. I think I've got a review for this one. I'll wait for the site to load. My internet is really slow today. Here we go. So that's how it would look. So, so that's it. So you can have multiple ones there. You've got big ones, small ones. It all looks really cool. And you can have text ones in there. So you can do whatever you want, but that's how it will look when you've done it. So um, let's try and click submit. It might not let me do it. Oh, no, it did. All right, brilliant. So let's click uh, refresh that. So, there we go, you've got a review now, so that's it, so if you see how that would look. There you go, reviews, you can put as many reviews in as you want. So that's that's it really when it comes to the, the main apps I would use initially. And also, um, I would actually use this uh, abandoned cart um app as well so let me uh, let me just set this up quickly or just show you what I would do so you can uh, put whatever you want in so let's just do uh, let's just do your first one email so campaign uh, abandoned cart one so that'd be your first you can split test it so if you put an app if you put together an abandoned cart sequence here of three or four emails and then you create another checkout campaign or abandoned cart campaign and they're both active it will actually split test them and uh, give you in stats uh, which one's better so this uh, so you need to set this uh, that email there is just obviously which is in uh, your what you've got set up so this first one do a reminder I, I like minimal but you whatever suits your site so the first email you can put a custom write your own headline or put something there like did you forget something? Continue. Um, that's the uh, that's the email headline. We noticed that you left some. You can't put some items in your cart before you left your items. There you go. You can just you can put these. You can actually put custom write your own ones here. So then 
you know don't uh, you don't always just use the ones here but you can do so complete checkout let's add a logo Beep Kings. So you've now got your first email. So that will get sent out 20 minutes after they abandoned checkout. So if they've left the checkout, first one sent in 20 minutes. Um, and there you go. You can put obviously put what you want in here. Just, you know, that's your subject line in there. That's what they see. Complete checkout. They've got the unsubscribe. So, uh, you know, it's all good. So you can add another email. Let's just see what you can do, you could add a, a warning one next. Just do this last one and then I'll leave it at that. But you can see what you can do as possible here. So you can play around, add what you want. Let me just click there and do uh, do whatever you feel is good. So let's do, uh, we're almost sold out. Uh, we don't want you to miss out. Well, I'll hurry before these items sell out. There you go, uh, complete checkout, continue. This one will be sent out one day after. So first one was 20 minutes, next one's one day. There you go, so this one's gonna get sent one day out. And that's what it look like. You can change all this text as well, like I said, it click submit. So there you go, you've got two emails now in your sequence. So imagine putting three or four, you're gonna get people signed up. So there you go, it's got a little dashboard now, percentage of people that have uh, uh, got recovered, got the, how many people have seen it, sales recovered, revenue recovered. And like I said, if you create another campaign, it'll be shown there and they're both active, and then it's a split test and half will get sent to one, half will get sent to the other. And then you can see which uh, percentage is better and then pause the, the losing one. So it's really cool to be able to do that. So that is your abandoned carts email set up. The next thing I would do is just to get your, um, get your uh, tabs all sorted out. So let's quickly go and do that. So to get your uh, home bar tabs done, you go to CMS. Then you need to go to header navigations. So these are the ones that are getting shown along your top bar here. So I've removed blog, but you can have blog. Um, collections, you can have collections. I would just um, leave, I would put FAQ, I wouldn't, you can do whatever. I mean, I'm just not, it's, what I would do is still gonna be different to you, but you can add whatever, whatever, um, tab you want here so whether you want to show along here that is put here now, this is only just to create the tab really um, so let's do uh, FAQ shop now I'm just gonna put sh shop now I'll just leave it sh you can change it I'll do it now just to show you so you, you can change the name of that tab shop now and then what you do in a minute is put the link where you want that to go which would be the collections to be fair, I'm now I'm thinking about it, it's probably not worth actually having this one because it's going to point to it in collections anyway. So you can put some like on sale or you can do whatever you want, but this is how you do it. So you've got homepage now, collections, FAQ and contact us. So let's go on here, refresh. And now you've got four, four tabs. So if I go over, then the tabs will be shown like that in the... Uh, on the mobile mode so there you go there's four tabs now you need to link them up so firstly is go to you need to get your product you need to get your collections list so I would go to collections oh actually let me see if this is linked up first yeah so you've already got that linked up anyway so I'm going to show you what that is so on the header link collections this is already pointed to it so it's here so you've got your collections you can click on uh, you can put it in manually like that and like when someone clicks collections it just take them to that same thing so this uh, FAQ page so what you need to do so when you've got a tab you need to point it somewhere so you've got the FAQ page 
you want to point it to uh, an actual page because if you click on it now I don't know where it's going to probably just take you to the home page because that's where it's, it's not linked up to anything so let's do that so you need to create pages this is pages so these are the privacy in terms of services just the other ones which they're already pre added um, which should be shown up down here but you need to create I mean you need to add a page you need to name the page so let's say FAQ all your all your FAQ answers all your F a sorry FAQ uh, text will go here just uh, so you know obviously you just copy and paste or you'd add all your stuff in there this is what you call the URL handle so if you change that it just be FA so you just leave that the same really don't need to do anything so click add So there you go. Let's just quickly see what this looks like. So I, I wanted to get the um, get the link. So here's the. So you need to get that URL there. So just get that. Copy and paste it. Save. And then on the header tabs or the navigation tab. Sorry, header navigation tabs. Where it says FAQ, that tab which is shown, you want to link it to that page now. So what you need to do is so it's where it says web link. Just ignore everything else, just paste that URL so it points to the FA. Is that FAQ? It looks like a G there. All right, so FAQ. So now, when you link, if this is uh, done now, it should click and go straight to the FAQ page. Oh no, I haven't set it up. One sec. It takes a second to, uh, to work. There you go. So that's the FAQ page. All your DLs will go in there, but now that's how it works so if people click on FAQ they're going to get taken to the FAQ page so next thing is you've got this collection but these two here bracelet and necklace collection you want to just put it to the collections that we had so firstly you want to get go to your collections list your women's collection men's collection I just click on edit on the one you want to get the URL go on there get the URL in a second when it shows normally that is why is that not normally it shows two seconds let me make sure I'm doing this right so collections list oh sorry you know what just click on the actual collection copy and paste that in this so I've just copied and pasted the URL it's just out of view on the screen and then you want to go to collection oh actually you want to go to sorry go back to CMS sorry I'm making it sound a bit confusing here go back to CMS then go to the uh, drop down navigation link so you've got the drop down navigation links delete these these are just ones which are dummy ones these um bracelet and necklace collection are the ones which are actually linked up and they're dropping down at the minute so just delete those then add a drop down navigation link so that was the women's collection link I just had then so just women's collection that's the name of the drop down so all you're doing is creating that little tab that comes down so you're just creating that that's all you're doing you're not creating a collection or anything like that you're just creating the name of the little tab or you're you're just putting the text on that little tab that drops down then in the web link you paste the the uh, the collection there like I just went I went and got the collection off the URL here so I went there I uh, went above and got the uh, URL copied and pasted it and put it in there and that's it so and when it says parent link that means the link is dropping down from so that will obviously be collection so the parent link will be collections that's it so column position just put one so you can have if something's coming on a drop down you can decide if it's the first second third fourth um, by changing the column position so click add and that would be your first one done so if I refresh this page now it should if I refresh uh, if I refresh just refresh the page then it should yeah so you've got one drop down now women's collection you click on it it goes to the women's collection so next one you want to do is um, get the men's collection so just gonna click collections first get this men's one here 
So th this is the men's collection page. The URL is bkings forward slash collection forward slash men's collection. So just go above, get your uh, get your collection. You can do that either going back to where I said click collection list and click on the collection and it'll open the page up. Then you can click and save the uh, uh, the URL and then go back to here, which is drop down navigation links. Add a drop down navigation link. Create the next one that you want on that. So men's collection web link is the URL. So that's where that link will point to. So it'll, if you click it, it will open up the men's collection. Um, and then parent link is the collections. And then position two. So that's it. Let's add that. So let's click. I'm going to go back to the home page. Just to show you what it looks like, and I'm sorry if this sounds a bit confusing. Just take your time, go back for the videos. You know you'll get it just by looking what I'm doing. But it's just I'm just showing you what you can do. So now you've got a women's collection and men's collection. You can either have it go. You can either have it appear like going horizontally or vertically. Um, it's up to you. So the way you do that is go on when you're on the drop down navigation links. You can choose. Um, do, 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 do. Let me go back. Um, women's now. Let's just see. I might be under here. Let me just see if I can. There is a way to do it. I can't really remember how to do it. It doesn't really matter anyway. Like so, this just you see that there's two collections now. If you go like this, your tabs will appear like that now. So you got the collection. That's the name of that. And then you got women's and men. So you've got your collections uh, added now to the uh, the pull down tab. Sorry, I've got my cat. It's just jumped on my lap. Yeah, mate. Oh, oh he's just fallen off me. Sorry, mate. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. So anyway. Um, so if you got uh, if you, now you know how to create a tab or create a uh, yeah tab along the the navigation bar and now you know how to do drop down tab and link it to certain pages doing that so that is uh, that's that done so really you've got the last thing to do is your footer links so these are the these are the links that are going to be shown down the bottom so contact us terms of service and poli privacy policy so you create the names so if you want to add a foot link you're just creating the name of the link that appears in the bottom and then you want to link it to uh, an actual page so on the pages you've got a terms and service and privacy policy so uh, the privacy policy let's just link that quickly and and then you'll know how to do it so that's your privacy policy there. That's just uh, one of them fill out text and that. So click, click there, copy and paste that URL because that's the name of the page. Save it. And then when you're on the footer links, so go to a footer links, privacy policy, and add this. I think this one comes pre populated or not. I'm not sure. So just add the link like that. And then click there. So if someone. Let me refresh this page and then click on the privacy policy. If you click on the privacy policy, it should show the privacy policy. So that's it. And then you do the same with the terms and service. At the moment, it's not linked to anything. But if you went and did the same thing I just did then, created a page called terms of service and then linked it with the URL to, from that tab under the foot link. So at the moment, there's nothing there. So when you click on it, it doesn't point to anything. So it's just blank. But if you were to put the URL of the page that you created under under the the name, so what one was that? It was the terms of service. Then it'll point to the terms of service. So you know how to do that now. Uh, last thing to do really when it comes to pages is, is the contact us page. So you click on contact us. You've got the contact us page there. So this is where you need to, you can add stuff like on the on the form, you can have full name, email address, phone number, whatever stuff you want them to do so you can turn the phone number off, all the numbers, so you, and then it'll just show you full name, then it'll be email address field, and then it'll put your message field, and then it'll just be send, and that's it. And that's the uh, URL there off that page here, and then that's it really. So you can um, then create another tab. So 
say for instance on the header navigation tab on the contact us go there add that link here and that's where that link will point to so this link will now point to that so hopefully that should work not yet because it's just what it's just probably uh, populating in the back end there you go so now you've got leave your feedback so there's your contact us page added so basically the site is you know ready to go it's got ready to take payments you can uh you've got you know how to add your uh your collections now on the back end you know how to add products to collections uh you know how to add pages along the the there you know, to link them up and you've got your app set up as well now so that's shown all your products um and that's it really i'm gonna you got your review as well i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do a couple more things just to show you so basically if you want to do related products up click upsell campaign create my first upsell campaign so product recommendation campaign so you could put um recommended products targeting all products so all products will have that uh related products underneath and you can choose the level so products with same tags products from same collection products most commonly brought together so you can choose which ones uh prioritize first i would do uh tags first then commonly brought together or maybe from the same collection and then go submit and that's it and that will show products related so on here that's showing related products so it's something like men's jewelry so it's obviously i've set the tags up to show that stuff similar so that is how that is set up so um i'm not sure if anything will show as a related product yet because i've used different tags and they're from different collections so let's have a look uh, no it won't do but if i had to set it up with the same tag when i was creating the product then it would be showing there or if it was in the same collection or it'd been commonly brought together before then it would be showing um underneath the description um and one last thing so uh, someone asked me the other day how to uh choose the uh, featured products or how to change the featured products here so basically to, at the moment that will just populate uh, any of the first products you put in there but if you want to change that you just literally need to go to you need to create a um, collection go to collections list you can either click create a collection and do it like that or you can just click uh, collections add a collection then you would just basically what you would do is you create a featured collection I'm not gonna even bother adding the image here featured featured collection you'd add uh, you could put some t an image there if you want um, then you'd add the products add the products you want so you click I'll click those two because they're the only two I've got um, and that is it so you collect you can and you can rearrange them so normally if you rearrange them that will change the order that's going to go in here so if you want to for any reason have them in a certain order or you might have uh, you know men's women's men's women's just change that around here and that will do that for you so click publish and anyway this will this will add any any uh, any um products you add to that featured collection will then show under featured products did i call it sorry i shouldn't call it featured collection call it featured products that's what i meant to put sorry if you put featured products it will then pick that up and use that featured product it will pick that up and then use that as the featured uh, as the products featured on the home page so all you need to do is go to collection create featured products collection and that will then pick that up and start showing all them products along here so if you see here featured products so these are all the products that on the back end of this store I've created a, a collection called featured products and then I've moved them in order to show them like this so I've got I've got it like that so that's that's why it's showing like that so if you want to do that just do what I just did then and then you're good to go so that is just really like the basics I mean like obviously um, you know there's more to commentate you a lot more you know you can play around and do a lot of stuff you can add a score wide discount timer you can do other upsells you've got your emails and that you need to set up shipping as well do you know what i'll actually do that now if i haven't done that no i did do that i'm pretty sure i did let me just check 
Yeah, I did. So it's been so long making this video, I forgot what I've done. So yeah, you've got all the other stuff. And I just want to show you themes as well. You can go to themes and add themes. So you can soon you'll be able to build a new theme. Um, but you can click theme store and um, and then you, these are the themes you can play around with now. So you've got some cool little themes and there's more coming and you'll be able to build your own theme soon. So like I made it with the clean vintage look, but you've got this one, you've got strong blizzard. Um, monster I don't know how you call that but as you can see there's more themes there so if you want to play around change the theme and build a site with another theme that's cool but um, I'll leave that to you if you haven't got Commerce HQ yet click the link get a 14 day free trial or click on my video where I'll put a link to and I'll show you how to get two free stores with your account uh, but you need to do it uh, the right way so you make sure you watch that video if you want to get the two free stores if not get a 14 day free trial test it out for yourself and see if you love it so I know that video was a bit like, you know, probably wasn't the uh, most, uh, you know, high tech video, but you can just see the back end how you can do stuff with Commerce HQ and how you can set up an e-commerce store uh, ready to take sales and start doing that stuff. So now you've got, uh, if you've, you've got the idea how to go and set up an e-commerce store, then that was a beginner's guide to show you how to do that. So I hope that helps. Hope you got some value out there. Click subscribe, click like, and I will uh, see you in another video. Till then.